Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina next door. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because today is another round of the Look For Less Challenge. If you're new here, the Look For Less Challenge is a challenge I created last year where I have a different co-host each month. And our challenge to you is to recreate something that's high-end for your home for much less. This month, my co-host was Kristen from Kristen K, and I cannot wait to see what she has created. Make sure you visit her channel after you're done here. I'll make sure to link it below and above in the cards. Also, if you participated, don't forget the playlist is down below in my description box. That way you can add your video. And if you did not participate, but still wanna check out everybody else's projects, make sure to check out that playlist so you can get a whole bunch more of inspiration. My project today was simple but very elegant and I can't wait to show you how I did it. But before we get started, please make sure to hit subscribe as well as that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. Don't forget to hit like if you love this look for less and without further ado, let's get started. And so I was online looking for some inspiration when I came across this beautiful marble and brass handle tray that I thought was absolutely stunning, but at $175, that was not gonna happen. So I knew this was the perfect look for less challenge for me. The first thing I knew I needed was a piece of wood or something that I can cover up and make look like marble. So I picked these brass cabinet poles at my local Home Depot and I got two of them to look very similar like the originals. Now I didn't get any footage of this, but the Latino engineer so nicely measured both sides of the board and its centers and drilled a couple of holes on either end for those cabinet poles. So depending on what you use for the base, you may not need to do this, but I wanted to make sure I had a nice smooth surface so I covered up any knots and any rough edges with wood filler. Then once I was done, I let everything dry overnight. Then I went over everything with a sanding block to make sure everything was nice and smooth. I made sure to wipe everything down and make it nice and clean because then it was time for some marble contact paper. I got a nice heavy duty one from Amazon and I'm gonna try and link to the exact one that I got below. I cut it so that it would actually give me a few inches to wrap around the edges of the board. I actually separated the contact paper and I laid it down on my table, holding it with a few things on the edges and then placed the board right on top of it. Then once I flipped it over, I used a card to smooth out any bubbles working from the middle and out to the ends. Once I flipped it over, I made sure to pull the edges really tight and again work from the center outwards. If you do attempt this, I suggest that you take your time and pay attention to details. The smoother your edges are, the more it will seem like it's actually marble. And here is how I got those crisp edges. Then once both ends were done in the same way, I pulled it up and over. This part is also optional, but I decided to cut another rectangle just slightly under the size of the entire tray so that I can cover up the board underneath. 
Next, I began to feel where the little pre-drilled holes were on the tray, and then I started making little incisions with a box cutter. With a small screwdriver, I poked the holes from one end to the other to open it up for the screws. Then all there was left to do was add the hardware. I really hope you enjoyed this look for less. I was really excited because this is actually something a little bit different from my coastal farmhouse, but at the same time, it's so classic with the marble and the brass that, you know what, it can go so pretty on a bed, it can go really well in a bathroom, on an accent table. There's a lot of uses for this, and I think I'm gonna find some really cool places in my home to display it. All right, so let's see how I did. The original was $175. Now I had to purchase the handles or the little cabinet pulls, which cost me $7 a piece. Now that's usually more than I would spend, but since it was only two of them and I really liked their look, I thought it was well worth as a splurge. And the contact paper was actually about eight or $9 and I didn't really use that much. So let's just say I used $4 worth. So it came out to be about $18 because everything else I already had on hand. Oh, and I have quite a bit of contact paper left over. So if you guys have any ideas of what I should do with it, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you again, Kristen, for co-hosting with me this month. It was a pleasure having you. Again, don't forget to check out our channel as well as a playlist with all the other inspiration for this month. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for next month's challenge. I have another amazing co-host. I cannot wait to see what everyone created this month. You guys are absolutely amazing and blow me away each time. Thank you so much for joining me and being part of this familia. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.